Hello, beautiful brothers and sisters. This is Virginia. Let me open with prayer. Dear loving Heavenly Father, may you be glorified in this video. May your words be spoken, not mine. And may everyone who comes to watch it be blessed. In Jesus' name I ask it. Amen. Today is Sunday, December 4th, 2022. I'm going to present the gospel. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 3 and 4. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus loves you. He wants you to spend eternity with him, but that cannot happen unless you are born again. So first, repent. Admit that you're a sinful creature like we all are. Then believe that Jesus is who he says he is, fully God, fully man. He came to earth, lived a perfect and sinless life. He shed his blood on the cross to pay the penalty for your sins, all of your sins, past, present, and future, no matter what you have done. For the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. He died, was buried, and rose again from the dead on the third day. All you have to do is believe that to be born again, without adding in any of your own good works or trying to be good. It has nothing to do with belonging to a church, getting baptized, practicing any religion, the moment you believe, it's like a permanent, personal encounter in your heart between you and God himself, where you call on his name. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You might say, come into my life, Lord Jesus, or Jesus, I believe you, save me. Whatever it is, talk to God. And the moment you believe, you receive the Holy Spirit. He will indwell you forever. You can never lose your salvation because salvation is eternal. So I hope you've believed because the alternative not believing means you're going to spend eternity in hell and nobody wants that. So please believe. My email address is in the description box or you can leave a comment below. First, I want to tell you, I... I got sick yesterday with a fever and I couldn't do anything, but I'm better today. I have a slight cough now, but I'm going to be fine. It's just a cold. So, but please pray for me anyway. And hopefully my voice will last through this video. <clears throat> um, I'm hoping to make two community posts soon, hopefully today. And the next thing I want to tell you is what this entire video is about, David and Hezekiah. And a brother in Christ gave me Psalm 118 to read a couple of days ago. And I started it, but I think I got interrupted and it went to the wayside. And today during my devotions, I read 2 Chronicles 32 about Hezekiah. He heard that he was going to be attacked by Sennacherib king of Assyria. Have you heard that we're going to be attacked? I've heard all of Europe is going to be attacked and there are red bird Poseidon nuclear torpedoes coming to the USA. And I do have an update about this. Do you remember my past video about how the Lord gave a brother the number 355? which relates to December 21st, the winter solstice. The date is a date of judgment. Just today we found out that the USA has a naval battle force of 296 ships. But China has a naval battle force of 355 ships, the same number that the Lord gave earlier. I believe the message is that judgment will fall on December 21st by the Chinese Navy of 355 ships. That's what I think, but we'll wait and see what happens. 
So Hezekiah must have been apprehensive about the Assyrian army coming to attack him. Okay, that's what I read in 2 Chronicles 32. Then the Lord prompted me to read Psalm 118. And I saw that these two passages, they did a dance together. And so first I'll read a portion of Psalm 118. Then 2 Chronicles 32, parts of it. And then Psalm 118 again. So here's Psalm 118, verses 5 through 13. I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations compassed me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They compassed me about. Yea, they compassed me about, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. They compassed me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall, but the Lord helped me. David did everything he could to prepare and to stand firm and hold the line against everybody who came against him. So listen to what Hezekiah did when the Assyrian army came or he had heard that they were going to come. After these things, this is 2 Chronicles 32, verses 1 through, 1 through 8. After these things and the establishment thereof, Sennacherib, king of Assyria, came and entered into Judah and encamped against the fenced cities and thought to win them for himself. And when Hezekiah saw that Sennacherib was come and that he was purposed to fight against Jerusalem, he took counsel with his princes and his mighty men to stop the waters of the fountains, which were without the city, and they did help him. So there was gathered much people together who stopped all the fountains and the brook that ran through the midst of the land, saying, Why should the kings of Assyria come and find much water? Also he strengthened himself and built up all the wall that was broken, and raised it up to the towers, and another wall without, and repaired Milo in the city of David, and made darts and shields in abundance. And he set captains of war over the people and gathered them together to him in the street of the gate of the city, and spake comfortably to them, saying, Be strong and courageous, be not afraid, nor dismayed for the king of Assyria, nor for all the multitude that is with him. For there be more with us than with him. With him is an arm of flesh, but with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. And the people rested themselves upon the words of Hezekiah, king of Judah. Is that beautiful? That is so beautiful. Hezekiah prepared as well. In the end, he didn't need it because the Lord just came out one night and, and killed, slew, destroyed Sennacherib's entire army. And he went home to Nineveh where he lived, worshiping in his false gods, temple and his two sons killed him we don't have anything to worry about stay on these words because um second chronicles 32 verses 7 and 8 are from the lord for you and then psalm 118 5 through 13 the lord is my strength and song and is become my salvation the voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. 
The right hand of, of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord hath chastened me sore, but he hath not given me over unto death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them, and I will praise the Lord. This gate of the Lord, into which the righteous shall enter, think rapture. I will praise thee, for thou hast heard me, and art become my salvation. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I just love that the one about the stone which the builders rejected has become the head of the storner corner. I think it's my favorite verse. No, not totally favorite, but it's one of my favorite verses in the Bible. So thank you for coming, everybody. God bless you. I love you all. If there's another video to be made, the Lord will show me, and I will post it. Until then, bye for now. Mm -hmm.